Hey, what's up everyone? It's your friendly neighborhood YouTuber. And guess what? We are back at it again with another extraordinary, monumental, breakthrough, groundbreaking action figure review in the history of mankind. Okay, so today we have this lovely specimen right here, Deadpool. I'm a little bit late to the party, guys, <laughs> because this uh, figure has been reviewed a million times over by hundreds of YouTubers out there, but guess what? It hasn't been reviewed by me until <laughs> today, <laughs> a year later. I'm like a year later to the uh, party. Well, one of the main reasons why uh, I got this figure, guys, is because I got the Sauron uh, Build-A-Figure um, uh, piece that I wanted to get uh, from this because when I when Sauron first came out, I didn't like him. I thought he was really not all that great, but uh, I decided to pick him up and customize him. So if you guys didn't see that customization right there of this Sauron Build-A-Figure, uh, please check it out. So yeah, that's one of the main reasons how I ended up with this figure. I thought, well, if I buy the build a figure piece by itself, it's just around the same price as if I just build if as if I just buy this uh, figure and then to get the build a figure piece so I can build Sauron. So why not add another action figure to my collection? And this one, uh, this Deadpool, he has the uh, X Men wardrobe going on here. So I mean, that's that's always a plus, you know. I have the Deadpool X Force and. Now I have the Deadpool X-Men right here. And then off to the right, if you can see here, are some of his members from the X-Force, Domino, and you got Cable over there, the classic beautiful Cable. And then you got another Deadpool, the Deadpool and Chill figure. All these figures I've already reviewed, so if you guys wanna see any of those reviews, check them out. Okay, so let's pop this figure out of the box. He is already opened, or he should be open, should I say. Maybe not. <laughs> I did, I did open this figure because I had to take out the uh, Sauron Build-A-Figure piece. So, let's try this again. Okay. So, let's take out Deadpool. Why, why is he always like the hardest to take out like the second time around? There we go. And as you can see, he's still unpackaged. I have yet to take him out. I have yet to review him until today. There we go. Okay, so let's pop out Dead Deadpool first, and then we'll review, um, uh, check out his uh, accessories. Okay. <laughs> uh... <laughs> how can you not love Deadpool? I mean, as many figures as uh, they put out, I mean, how can you not love Deadpool, guys? Okay, let me bring my camera down a little bit because he's a shorter figure. Not too shabby, guys. Listen, you know, if you need the Deadpool to go with your, uh, you know, your Deadpool, uh, with your Deadpool, with your X-Men, he's definitely the man for the job. Yeah, I mean, listen, he is unique. I, I like the X-Men logo right there. <laughs> uh, pretty nice, pretty nice, pretty nice figure. There's the front, there's the back of them. This, the only thing I like dislike about a lot of these Marvel Legends, they give us these things right here, which they don't stay put. You know, just glue them in the place. Why... You know, why are you going to give us that? I understand it's it's a different body mold and, or excuse me, the same body mold. And they would have to do a different body mold to accommodate these. So instead of doing a different body mold, they just put these on here. And there you go. You got somewhat of a different action figure, even though it's the same action figure as, <clears throat> whoops, as this and all the other. Uh, Deadpool and all the other uh, X-Men uh, figures too. Figures that, um, well, you've seen this body mold on everybody pretty much. So, break stare at the upper bicep. Um, no double jointed elbows. Head goes up nicely like that. 
Uh, no. Oh, yeah. Double jointed uh, knees, legs, however you want to say it. Breaks at the upper thighs. Beautiful ankle pivot going on there. And I really, really, really like this uh, Deadpool, guys. So let's break out. You know what? Let's do some interchangeable swapping right here of his head. So I just want to see how this head sculpt looks on uh, this Deadpool figure right here. A little loose, but yeah, it can work if you wanted to. And then to put this on this body, yeah, it goes well too. The red is a little bit more brighter. You can't really tell, but I can kind of tell. It kind of takes away the uh, character when you put this head sculpt Ugh, on Deadpool and chill, you know what I mean? So let's pop that off. Pop that one back on. And being that we got his head on, or head off, should I say, of this one, let's pop on his other head sculpt that we got. We'll pop on this one right here. And... <sighs> Dude. <laughs> Dude. The yellow... Um, I, I think, well, I don't think the yellow was supposed to match up, but, uh, yeah, it's two different, uh, shades of yellow. This one is a little bit more brighter, this one's a little bit more mellow, mellow yellow. I don't know the history or the story behind this head sculpt, guys. If you do, let me know. I'm sure you guys have seen videos. Let me put Deadpool back here. Let me break out his hat. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Let me bring my camera up. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like I can use this hat for somebody else. I don't know who. <laughs> pretty, pretty, uh... Pretty, pretty unique, guys. But yeah, I kind of like them... In the X Men, this X Men uh, head sculpt right here, this Deadpool head sculpt right here, he look, actually looks much better. The hat, I don't think you could place on here because the head is a little bit big, but I guess if you wanted to, yeah, you can put it on there if you wanted to, but it just doesn't look right. Um, yeah, I mean, I got an extra, whoops, got an extra head sculpt here and a hat. What am I, what am I gonna do with it? Ah, uh, who knows? I'll figure out something to do with it. Maybe I can customize it in some way, shape, or form. But not too shabby, guys. Not too shabby at all. Let's put his weapon in his hand. Of course, he comes with a big automatic weapon right here. That is... Oh, let's see. Let's try to get it in his hand. Like that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, he looks good like that, holding the weapon. I'm going to bring my camera back down again. There's Deadpool and Chill, chilling, passed out. He, he can't really stand properly, properly because of his pink slippers over there. Listen, overall, very, very nice figure. If you want him displayed, you could take out one of his blades or his katanas. Put one of his katanas in his hand if you want to, which I probably won't. I'll probably leave it in there. But if you wanted the katana, there you go. There you have it. I kind of like him with the katanas out and then him just holding the gun. Yeah, there's my Deadpool. There's my Deadpool. Okay, so we'll go in for a close-up, guys. Show you the detail of this uh, Deadpool figure. Really nice color overtones. I like what they did with the yellow and red, and I guess it's kind of like a dark blue because it's not really a black. Because if you put Deadpool next to Domino, she has all black, and then this is kind of like a dark blue. 
The color schemes are very, very nice. They'll go well with your X-Men collection. I really, really like this Deadpool a lot, guys. It's one figure that I wasn't looking to pick up that I decided uh, I was going to pick up. Did I mention he has brakes here? Brakes at the upper torso. He can go up that far, lean back that far. Waist swivel, that's a plus. So he's a very, very well articulated Deadpool, as you would expect from Marvel Legends. Um, I'm trying to get his gun in there properly so he can hold it properly because he doesn't have his hand wrapped all the way around the gun. His fingers are bendable, so that's always a plus. There we go. Now he looks good. Okay, so let's measure him, and I'm going to rate him for you guys and let you know if he's worth the pickup. So, he stands at six and a half inches even. So, on a scale from one to ten, with ten being the highest, guys, you know what? I'm going to give this Deadpool... Um, I'm going to give him a solid seven, guys. I think he's pretty awesome, man. He's pretty unique. Um... Yeah, he's not too shabby. I mean, he's got some pretty interesting things going on with him. And like I said, he'll fit well with your X-Men collection, you know, your blue and gold uh, X-Men team. So yeah, I highly, highly, highly recommend it. I don't have any really gripes about this figure other than these things right here because I hate these things right here because they always fall off all the time. You always have to push them up like so. And that's the only gripe I have with this figure. Um, and it comes with an interchangeable head and hat, so that's always a plus as well. So, customizing for all you custom customizers out there uh, with the extra head sculpt and hat. Overall, nice figure, guys. A solid, solid seven. Tell me what you guys think of this uh, Deadpool X Men. Do you guys like them? I like them a lot. So we'll go ahead and leave it at that, guys. If you like this review, hit the like button, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell if you want to receive cool, awesome reviews like this. And if you guys don't have this Deadpool, I recommend him. I definitely think you should pick him up. So we'll leave it at that, guys. Thanks for watching, and guess what? I'll catch you guys later. Bye!